Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, the following video I do not even feel comfortable to spell out. We're gonna react to Christian Priest says Jesus was transgender. May God have mercy on us. With no further ado, let's have a look. Yeah, so if we think of Jesus oh, wow, as... Oh, man. Uh, Fantastic start to the video. Look at this. Again, guys, unfortunately, here on YouTube, I do have to censor myself. I cannot speak my mind. So please do me a favor and follow me on Rumble. Once I reach over a thousand subscribers on Rumble, I will live stream over there. And then finally, we can discuss all of those evil topics. So now here, politically correct for YouTube. Why do you need a flag that demonstrates a sexual preference in the church. Please explain. Yeah, so if we think of Jesus as um, the one who reveals God, uh, I was really struck by Angela saying earlier... This again goes to show that nobody has a straight answer when it comes to the question, who is Jesus? Looking at this guy, he seems to be a Catholic priest, but yet again, who is Jesus? He says that Jesus was the man that revealed God. Somebody else will tell you that Jesus was God. Another one will tell you again that he was the son. Who is he? Uh, I was really struck by Angela saying earlier that God is queer. And God uh, forbid, I, I think... What? As They're sitting there in the church. Sorry, guys, I have to interrupt this every couple of seconds. They're sitting in the church discussing that God is queer. Did you hear those people? As humans, we have a tendency to construct God in our own image rather than to recognize that we are made in the image of God. And therefore, the dominant expression of humanity ends up writing itself onto God and making that God. Yeah, you basically explain right now why people made Jesus into God. You get it? Uh, and I think in, in the story of Jesus, the stories of Jesus' life, we, we find that being broken down um, in, in some quite radical ways, which is then having the knock-on effect of altering the way we understand who God is in relation to humanity. So I think Jesus um, transgenders himself on a number of occasions. What? Um, I, I think, you know, just, just a little phrase where Jesus is lamenting over Jerusalem, longing to gather Jerusalem as a mother hen gathers her chicks. Um, I think if you look at um, the from John's Gospel... Oh, man. Dude, how sick is this person? How possessed by Satan can you be to even say such things, let alone say them in the church? When Jesus uses an analogy of a hen gathering her chicks or a shepherd gathering the sheep, this man really believes that therefore you are transgender. Foot washing elsewhere wow, in both man. Old and New Testament, that it's consistently done by, by women. And yet Jesus takes that on. People often cast that as being the serpent. Yes, okay, listen, man. Usually, typically, women cook. But guess what? I like to cook. I enjoy cooking myself. From today, I identify as Bobina. It was the woman's role. Mm. Wow. Uh, and, and Jesus does it and becomes the woman at that point. Wow, and, and man. I, I can't listen to this. Sick. That, you know, sick, 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 sick. He's childless. He defies gender and sexual norms of his day. He's known for associating with those whose own sexual history or gender identity may be ambiguous. So I think in... His sexual identity might be ambiguous. Man, what are you talking about? Are you a priest? Do you even understand anything about the history of Jesus? Would you agree that Jesus never had sex? Would you agree that Jesus never got married? So what kind of sexual identity or sexual preference are we talking about here? Jesus, we've got a revelation of God Whoa. as encompassing far more than what historically and recently at least um, Christians have tended to construct God as being and I think there's a bit of an antidote to uh, heteronormative idolatry in in the story of Jesus what I don't even understand what this means all right guys and the video cuts off there already super short video thank god i couldn't listen to this any longer this is really insane to see how the devil has infiltrated the church i would have to say that the catholic church predominantly has been infiltrated by satan but even from an orthodox background we know that satan is infiltrating every church ultimately and tries to break it down this is obviously what we 
we saw here. It is mind-boggling to see how these people do not understand what they even say. They do not understand that they go with the spirit of the ages. They don't understand that right now we are at this pinnacle of human degeneration, at the pinnacle of a fallen society. Look around you, you will see it everywhere. And they don't understand that they become the spokesperson for that exact degeneracy. Not only reinterpreting scriptures, but completely twisting them. Just because Jesus was a humble character that was washing his disciples' feet, out of a sudden, guess what? He is a woman. This is absolutely repulsive to see. And as I said in the beginning, I have to censor myself here as much as I can. But nevertheless, please, YouTube, think logically. The flag that you see in the background is a flag of sexual identification. What has sexual identification to do with with the church. Honestly, just put one and one together. If you have a fetish, maybe you want to wear latex clothes, or you like to be whipped, or anything perverted, would you then demonstrate it in the church? Of course you wouldn't, but somehow this ABCD crew there in the background gets a free pass. All of a sudden, it needs to be displayed in the church. And this is how the devil infiltrates the church, and the falsehood will be eaten up from the inside out and the truth shall prevail. Look at this pathetic state of the Catholic Church. As said it before, back in the day, karate used to be a legitimate martial art. Nowadays, nobody thinks of it as legitimate at all anymore. Why? Because through Hollywood movies, karate became so popular and schools started opening up everywhere. In order to attract customers, those schools started giving out black belts to basically anybody. Through that, they gained a lot of membership, made a lot of money in a quick time, but ultimately destroyed karate. Karate became an illegitimate martial art that nobody even sees as a martial art any longer. This is what happens when you open up the doors to everything. This is what happens when you start accepting everything. Thing. You have to understand that the church, that religion itself, is intolerant. Absolutely. And that is a good thing. You have to be intolerant sometimes. Think about it. Would you let anybody into your home? Of course you wouldn't. Open the door, let the robber in. Open the door, let the pissed in. Open the door. Let them destroy your home. Why not? Because we are all so tolerant. Of course, you wouldn't do that. We have to be intolerant, especially when you're sitting on truth. You have to be intolerant because you have to defend that truth. You cannot accept falsehood because falsehood comes from the devil. All right, guys, and this is it. This is all I can say here on this channel, unfortunately. As I said, I have to censor myself here, so please head over to Rumble, subscribe over there, and God willing, soon we will speak uncensored. All right, but this is it for today. If you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. May God protect us from this. As always, may God bless you all, much love and peace.